ladies and gentlemen, the performer you're about to meet is a street magician from here in sunny Southern California. His show has surprised and delighted people all around the country. Amongst those viewers of the hit show Penn and Teller's Fool Us. He's excited to be here this evening to bring his magic to you and this week makes his Magic Castle debut. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome to Toto. <laughs> I'd like to conclude my show for you with my rendition of the world's oldest magic trick. It's called the Cups and Balls. If you're having fun and you want to see it, say yeah. Yeah! yeah. I was going to do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> now, this really is thousands of years old. That means thousands of years before we were born, people were being entertained and delighted by this. And thousands of years after we're gone, they still will be. It's like a ritual that connects us to our past, our future, and meet other magicians. Both these gentlemen perform the routine themselves. Before I get started, it's important to know these cups are empty and normal. Nothing hiding inside, no trap doors or mirrors. Sir? Yes, sir. You look like you know cups. Please feel around inside, make sure there's no trap doors. Nothing stuck in there. Buy me a new cup after. Yeah, right? And please show the folks around you so they know it's regular as well. Cup number two. So would you confirm that's a regular cup for us and hold on to that for a second? Sure. Perfect. And cup three, don't cup so you can check that one out. Is that a regular cup? Amateurs use trick cups, professionals can't afford them. Thank you. Oh, didn't do that at the Salvation Army. Thank you much. That last cup, we're going to do something very special. This part is not magic, it's just showing off. I hope you don't mind indulging me for a few seconds. This took five years of training to master. If you toss the cup to me, I'll catch it. Perfect. <laughs> 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 on a four-year degree. <laughs> three cups, three balls. We begin with one ball under each cup, one ball under each cup. The ball, you look suspicious. No, it really is under the cup. I'm just trying to watch your hand. <laughs> <laughs> like the ball jumps from the cup to the hand, and from the hand to that cup. So it disappears from here, and ends up here. Oh. Leaving us, of course, with one ball under the center cup. We'll do that again, you like that so much, I can tell by your round of attention. <laughs> from the cup to the hand, from the hand to that cup. No. So you can see down front here. All three balls are back together. Once more. Here. <laughs> Sometimes people stop me at that point and they say that has to be done with fast hands. So I'll try to slow this down for you. In fact, the other night an elderly gentleman came up to me. And he said if you could put one of those balls on top of the middle cup, slowly stack the other cups on top, run the stick down the side, tap the bottom cup, and have the ball fall to the table, that must be real magic, because you didn't do anything. I disagreed, but we did it anyway. <laughs> it's always better the second time. Watch ball two. Goes on cup two, just like before. You stack the cup, run the stick down, tap the bottom cup, and it falls. On the first. Thank you. Now the same man stopped me after that one and said, "Oh, I got you now, you son of a. Oh, I got you now." <laughs> he said, "Those cups must be fake. The cup has to, be able to fall through the other cup, <laughs> or, or, or there's a secret hole in the bottom." <laughs> but that doesn't make any sense, so that can't be true. Watch the last one. We run the stick down, tap the bottom cup, and melt through the imaginary hole. And all three balls are back under the middle. <laughs> minutes left in the show, we happen to know the history of this next phase is 150 years old. It was invented by an Italian magician named Bartolomeo Bosco. Bosco performed this all over Paris, France in the 1800s. By the time he was 40, he bought his own theater. and got to perform it for the rest of his life. I'm still 29 and paying off my student loans. I just hope that doesn't take the rest of my life. <laughs> Not a joke. <laughs> all three are back underneath. Oh. <laughs> to show you. Let's see. You're watching very closely, dude. How many balls are on the table? Uh, three. Three, very good. How many now? Uh, three. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that joke is 2,000 years old. <laughs> the first guy got huge last though. So. <laughs> if I put the two end balls away for real, how many balls are on the table now? That's right, one under the middle. Now, if I tap the side cup three times, it looks like the one ball jumps across the side cup. I'll tell you how. Oh, thank you. 
for that puberty. <laughs> Every time I tap the cup three times, the ball appears under the cup. That's how it happens. Tap, tap, tap. Ball appears under the cup. It creates the illusion to jump across. I can't believe people ever gamble on this. <laughs> but suppose you actually see the little ball go away. How many balls under the middle cup? Now, say two. Two. Uh, I've seen it before. <laughs> suppose you want three, though. Look, we hit it again. We got all three back. <laughs> If I put all three balls away, which cup would be the most impossible to get them all under simultaneously and at the same time? Cup one, two, or three? One. One? You guys agree? Sure. Yes. Okay. The person who said one said yes. <laughs> <laughs> if, we can, if we can get all three balls under cup one, would that make a good finale? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Does that seem like real magic? Yes. yes. Will we all buy me a drink and tip the waiters. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, please don't, that'll kill me. <laughs> but I wouldn't be able to do it in a way. Cup one, it's full. The big orange oh. ball. Oh. <laughs> not in a million years. Oh. It's not physically possible. <laughs> but I know what you might wonder as you go home later. What if the lady had selected cup three? Oh. <laughs> what if someone wanted cup two? But it takes cup one and it really would not have fit. There's a lemon. Oh. <laughs>